You know, my problem is I don't know whether they will do what they say they will do. You know, because they are making promises now. I don't know whether they will keep to it. If I will keep to the promises that they said that Nigeria will get a better election, I will be so happy. Everybody will see with their eyes. Abuja does not vote. It is the people here that will uh, vote. And then Mr. President said yesterday, he will not interfere. He told the governors he will not interfere, he will not intervene. But I don't ask. So you know why you interfere now? But thank Mr. President that he wants to leave a legacy of conducting a free and fair election. Some people tell him that, oh, they are former generals. They are close to the CIA in America. They can deal with us. I said, listen, no problem. If you are, if you are close to American CIA, why didn't you use it to solve Boko Haram problem? Is it my body? You will use it. <laughs> Nigeria has a serious problem, and you are linked to CIA. You know them. You are a former general. Why not use that contact and solve Nigeria's uh, problem? You want to use it to tell me, who are you? Wow, what a scenario playing itself out, as you may have also seen reported in a lot of the dailies this morning. Well, we've got Adakole Ijogi who joins us now. He's a member of the PDP and the political economist. Good morning. Thank you for joining us on the program today. Goodness, it, it, I guess it pours uh, for the party now. You thought that uh, there was going to be that handshake across board with the feuding parties, but there still appear to be firing on all cylinders, which uh, is interpreted in many quarters as throwing spanner in the works. So it does appear as though, did they actually really want this reconciliation to happen, or is it too little, too late moving forward now? With the comments coming through from the chairman of the PDP, PDP, Iyotia, are you? Uh, good morning, Chamberlain, and uh, thank you for, for, for having me. Well, I think what is currently playing out in the People's Democratic Party uh, is, um, I, I think, personally, I would describe it as some, um, some huge egos, you know, going back and forth, and also uh, some people's inability to manage a huge party with various interests in the in the PDP. I think it's now becoming uh, uh, personal because um, some certain things cannot go out unsaid because they are visible. There are certain things that you can touch, you can see it, you cannot sweet coat them. I mean, you can just you see that. Uh, uh, let me even start by saying this, uh, Dr. Chamberlain, that when you look at happenings currently in the, in our my dear party, the People's Democratic Party, you will see that. People, some certain quarters within the party are trying to trivialize the issues, trying, trying to say it is between Governor Wiki and the national chairman, uh, Senator Yocha. I think that those, those kinds of dis descriptions are pedestrian. I think they're just trying to trivialize the issues. It is not Governor Wiki versus national chairman. I, I, I beg to disagree. As someone who is um, an insider who knows a few things and has been part of this process, it is Governor Wike, it is Governor Ugwani, it is Governor Shei Makinde, it is Governor Ikbeazu, it is Governor Autumn, it is former Governor Jang, it is former Governor Donald Duke, it is Professor Jerry Ghana, it is uh, and a host of other strong party stalwarts who are insisting that certain things should be done rightly to reposition the party so as the party Oh all right, so we'll, we'll try and get that back. But uh, uh, he's saying that, well, all those feuding parties, largely there are several interests who he says are insisting on certain things to be done. So, uh, Adakoli, when you then say that, the question then is, what are they insisting be done right? In, in no mincing, in no mincing words, it, 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 I, I would like to say that, in 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 order not to flare different camps, mm -hmm. the truth is, the party is ready to push for 
certain levels of inclusion with regards to the of national office sharing within the party. The national the, 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 the national chairman chairman of the party is from the north. The presidential candidate of the party is from the north. The board of trustee chairman is from the north. Even the, the, the PDP governor's forum chairman is from the north. Now, how can you go to an election when the party is skewed towards a particular uh, uh, direction? I mean, it is just saying, just simple, it was a particular region. It is simple that these leaders of the party are asking these pertinent questions. And they are saying that the People's Democratic Party, very democratic in nature, the People's Democratic Party needs to reposition itself so as to have that, not a sense of inclusion, but actual inclusion of other sections of the country. Now, it is not about Governor Wiki's his disagreement after the primaries. Yeah. I mean, just one second, know, uh, Mr. Yogi. Time goes, if, if you yes, can hear please. me, I, I think it's a yes. lot more than, you know, what you're saying now. This is what is playing, playing out at this moment. But it would seem like, they, you know, the crisis within the PDP seems to sustain itself one way or the other or evolved, you know, itself over time one way or the other you know, from one issue to the other, to the other, to the other, and always mostly at the national level for a few years now. So the question then would be, perhaps there is a need to understand the power structure within the system. There is a, a board for the party, there is a national working committee, there is the national, you know, uh, executive council of the party and all of that. So. Perhaps there is a, a need to understand what the functions of each of these segments of the party are. Maybe they will be able to say, okay, this is where the error is. Well, I, I wish I can answer that question to you in all honesty, but I, I'm, I'm sorry, I, I just can't. But let me give it a shot. Let me say, yes, the PDP is structured in the, the you have the you have the pdp uh, structure to function out to function you know very effectively you have the board of trustees the national working committee you have the neck of the party you have the convention of the party but you see some one of the things that the people democratic party has and no other political party in nigeria has is that the pdp has an ancestral base the pdp has evolved over time since 1998 the pdp the, the, the pdp has a, a strong within the party that no one candidate or no one person can dominate the affairs of the party. When you have majority of leaders in volume who are in disagreement, who are in um, who are in um, dismay with regards to certain processes and certain uh, uh, conditioning within the party, you now have these issues. That is why you see the, it seems like the PDP has been having those, like you alluded to, uh, issues within the national level of the party. But I, but, I, but I tell you this, that it is, it is, it is actually uh, not a crisis per se. It is just some, some, uh, some internal wranglings of the party. The party is still functioning well. I mean, you can see the reception that the party got in Kano State, for instance, uh, with the, with the re-entry of, uh, of, of, of Governor Shekro. You can, you, can, you, can, you can see that. And then you can see that the party is out in, in Oshun State, for instance. So the, the party, it is... Moving towards the 2023 elections, of course, because of how huge the PDP is and the different interests, what is happening right now is collapsing all those different interests to suit uh, uh, the, the, the objective of the party, which is to win election. Now, the PDP is a veteran in winning elections. We won elections in 99, 2003, 2007, 2011. So we know what the people want. We know what will energize the base of the party. Now, when these leaders are in disagreement or they are insisting on certain things to happen, I think if you look at it critically, these leaders are actually uh, saying the right things. Mm. I, I, I wish and hope that it was that simple, you know, and that indeed um, the PDP is going into the 2023 elections in a position, with a position of strength. When you talked about the real and true nature of the um, crisis, well, in your own words, not necessarily crisis, internal wranglings, you mentioned some names, and I want to pick uh, just a few of those names, three to be precise, the governor of Abia State, the governor of um, Benue State, and uh, lastly, uh, the governor of Oyo State. We saw those three governors 
uh, with Governor Wike during those all-important meetings outside the country. Would it be safe to say that amid these wranglings, these are the governors on the side of uh, the governor of River State as this, these crises continue? And uh, what's the implication of this, just in case the PDP is unable to resolve it as it goes into uh, the 2023 elections? Let me take the last part of your question first. I think that one of the things I would like to put out there is that the PDP has an internal mechanism within the party to correct such uh, uh, such uh, political disagreements. Uh, the PDP has this political sophistication that even uh, from when, when you listen to all of the leaders speak from Governor Wike to Governor Makinde to Governor Otom or Governor Ugwanyo, or even the national chairman of the party, Senator Uche Ayu, you find out that they, 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 all of them agree that the PDP has multifaceted style of leadership that no one man can direct or redirect or change the course of the party because they are all politicians and we are all politicians and we can understand a few things and uh, moving, moving, moving forward. But I tell you this, that when we say in, in honesty that the party as it were, is to be repositioned to win elections in 2003, in 2023, sorry. It goes to also buttress the point that the PDP within itself can and has the capacity to look at, to mirror the society in Nigeria and say, this is what Nigerians expect from the People's Democratic Party. Nigerians expect thus far and the PDP should mirror that. Now, when you, when, when those of us who are engaged in in, in the process of, of of moving Nigeria towards uh, moving the people, sorry, the People's Democratic Party towards winning elections, have X Y Z to say with regards to that. That is because we have mirrored the society. I mean, the PDP was built on equity, fairness, and justice. It is about inclusion. It's about political participation. It's about fairness. It's about equity. And when you look at the way the party is structured right now, something has to give mm. before we even set up you know, the, the, the presidential campaign council. All right. So we'll take it from there when we return in just a moment. Do stay with us. Welcome back. Well, Adakole, you say something has to give. Well, many are asking that the chairman, since you also have enumerated the fact that most, if not all, of the key positions are held from persons from the north, so they say the chairman has got to bow and go. Is that what you're saying has to give? Hello, sorry, Chamberlain, I, I, I didn't get that. Please, can, can you repeat the question? When you say the chairman, uh, when you say something has to give, and you highlighted how uh, going into an election, all the positions, the leadership, the key leadership positions of the party cannot be occupied by the North, so will they be in order then that the chairman steps down? Did you hear me? Well, seems to seem to have lost that connection, but we'll try and get that back. But clearly, uh, you listen to him highlighting how uh, those positions, key positions that are coming from the north, he says, look, it's not good that uh, going into an election, all those key positions are occupied by persons from the north. So uh, somebody has to give. We're trying to find out what exactly he thinks should give. And uh, can that afford to happen? at this point in time in the life of the party. So it is a big question that mm. is out there on the lips of many. Especially members of the party themselves. Yeah. Um, and if the intention, the goal is to win the election, there are those who will be wondering, if you can't even organize yourselves, how would you organize the nation? So it's a critical um, issue to raise, and I hope that the... the the factor, the reality of the case is not lost on the leadership of the party and the members of the party and the various states. So, as I, you know, one, along the line of the question that we asked, uh, um, Mr. Ayodhi, uh, it's not only happening at the federal level, we all know. 
just recently, you know, Ebony State or one of these uh, east uh, states in the east also had such a crisis, you know, at the party chairmanship level. And, you know, every party has their issues from time to time. But if this is going to be resolved, uh, then it has to be done as quickly as possible. You say that... Um, campaign starts by towards the end of this year, uh, towards the end of this month. Mm -hmm. So if that is going to happen, then we want to ask, we need to ask ourselves a critical question. If something has to give, what has to give? Now already, we've been hearing calls for resignation, and we've heard it clearly from the mouth of the chairman himself, I'm not going to resign. So if something has to give, what has to give? Okay, let's try. I think it's back now. Okay. Uh, so go ahead and talk to us then. When you say something has to give, are you saying the chairman has got to resign? Well, they're, 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 in all honesty, there are multiple, uh, 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 mul mul multiple solutions to this. You have a presidential candidate that is fixed. That is in Elijah Tiku Abokar. You now have the BOT chairman that is not fixed, that is flexible, that can leave or stay, you have the national chairman that can leave or stay. So it depends on what the leadership of the party wants. And the leadership of the party, I mean now, not the not the seemingly uh, diverse uh, groups that you have, the national party of the, the national chairmanship of the party and the candidate on one hand, and then Governor Mike, Professor Jerry Ghana, former Governor Jan, former Governor yeah, but, Donald Duke, all these people on one hand. Only, now, what I'm saying is that okay. you have to agree they have to agree on what to give. And from what the feelers that we have, we, have, we have gotten is that they are requesting that the national chairman paves way for the party, for the chairmanship, chairmanship of the party to move south for equity, for fairness, for justice, especially as we are going into campaigns. Now, this is not because there, there have been some internal wrangling or disagreements within some leaders arising from the way the, where the primaries went. No, this, that's not it. It's just for repositioning the party All right. so as the party can win elections. Now, it appears you clearly subscribe to that school of thought. Uh, so if that were the case, how can the party, will the presidential candidates of the party feel comfortable that the chairman goes when he is getting his mindset ready into an election? Because isn't that going to create more problems for him as a candidate? No, 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 no. I don't. I don't think so. I, I think that I think that the national the, 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 the national leadership of the party is aware that the People's Democratic Party is not one individual, and it is not the national chairmanship of the party, the national chairman of the party that uh, brought in the the, the the candidate of the party. That would be insider trading. It is just a simple process of knowing that the party was built on certain fundamental principles of equity, fairness, justice, inclusion. And that when you look at the, the way the party structure, I mean, I mean, you have heard it. I don't have to say that the national chairman of the party, Senator Wilcher Ayo, promised that he was go going to resign if a candidate from not sent of, of, of another Nigerian extraction imagines the party. Well, well just... I mean, just in case the national, well, we have seen that the national chairman is saying that he is not going to res resign, but the, there are other uh, conditions that you're saying are multiple, are possible solutions to the challenge, which is the, uh, you know, the, the resignation or the changing of other key positions, i.e. the BOT chairman. But what if these conditions are not satisfactory to the Wiki group? Well, I think the, the, the leadership of, 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 the, of, of, of the party will still also decide. You know, PDP is a democratic party. It's a party of negotiations. It's a party of, of discussions, of interface, of, of conversation. And the conversations have been going on. So whatever the national leadership of the party, they will come up with that. I mean, we have about six to five months to the 2023 elections. So I'm, I'm positive, I'm hopeful that these issues will be resolved one way or the other. If it's that may be, the PDP has that sophistication. Well, okay. But you know, that, that process has been, just a second, Mr. Yogi, that process, you know, it would seem has, is, has been or is being frustrated as we speak. You know, uh, if this system is so strong and reliable, as you have mentioned, one is wondering why it's taking so long. I mean, you've talked about the fact that, you know, the PDP is a, is a family, is a, has systems and everything. So that the, the system is not able to do it as at this time is, is something of concern. Now, you've 
also spoken to the fact that you know um, the campaigns are going to start in earnest and you are optimistic that things are going to happen. If you would hazard a guess, what kind of permutations would you expect to take place in order at least some to get some semblance of justice and equity that can be, bring everybody together in order to fight this one cause? Ayo, let me answer your, your, your question as, on, as a people's democratic member and as honestly as I can. Personally, I think the way to go is for the presidential candidate of the party, Alaji Atiku Abuka, to take the bulls by the horn. I personally, as someone coming through the ranks in the party, I think that the leadership that he has shown in this process of reconciliation or, excuse me, bringing these leaders on board, I think it, 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 it has not inspired any confidence. I think that Alaji Atiku Abubakar needs to take the bull by the horn, and he needs to get all these leaders and talk with them. Hmm. If, he, if, he, if, he, if he needs to placate them... But that that, that in them. itself, <laughs> while, while it makes a word of sense, and you're not the only one that has said that, one is wondering how come the system that you talked about so eloquently and so proudly of is not able to deal with the issues. And it has to take an individual. Same thing we're trying to run away from. Institutions and systems as opposed to individuals taking over issues such as this. Well, the, 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 as, as we speak currently, the, the presidential candidate of the party assumed the role of the leadership of the party because he's the presidential candidate of the party. Now, when we say he, he has set up some committees to interface with the different camps to but you see the reason why i'm saying that it is not producing the expected outcome of the expected result is because when you set up those internal mechanisms to interface to douse this political brickmanship that you have within the people's democratic party it also needs some backdoor engagement. As a politician, I will tell you, you need some backdoor engagements. Like I was saying, I said, if these people need to be placated, they should be placated. If they need to be apologized, you know, they need to be apologized. Exactly. If they need to be, they need to as be we wind down, I mean, you are in there, you attend several meetings, because some of what we've been told behind the scenes as well is that what we see playing out is not really what it is. Uh, when you speak about the presidential candidates, some tell us that, look, that they uh, actually offered the River State Governor the position of the vice, the pre vice presidential slot, and it declined. And some also say they approached him about twice or thereabouts, and he said he was not interested. And so when people say that the presidential candidate has not reached out, that it is not exactly the case. Is that right? Uh-oh. Oh, boy. <laughs> we seem to have, the sister have just we lost him at the crucial time. <laughs> oh, boy. All right, well, well, we'll just see uh, if we can get that sorted in a couple of seconds, and then we're actually, coincidentally, we're winding down. So, Adakole, did, did you get the question? No, sorry. Sorry, I didn't. I think I, I, sorry, the, the whole uh, process just closed. You were alluding to the fact that the presidential candidate needed to take the bull by the horn. And there are those who believe that, look, uh, that he, the candidate, has actually reached out before now to the River State Governor, offering him the VP slot way before now, and he declined. And so when people keep saying some of these things, making it look as though he hadn't reached out or he's not, or he's aloof, that that is exactly not the case. Is that true? Well, I think it's the, it's the two parties that are involved can answer that with all honesty. I, I, I'm not privy to that information, but that candidate offered the VP slot or the, 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 the Governor Wiki declined or accepted that. But what, what, I, what I can say right now is that Governor Wiki, yes, on Wiki, Governor Ugwani, Governor Sherry Mackinde, uh, Governor Ekbeazu, Governor Autumn, Professor Jerry Gana, former Governor Jang, former Governor Donald Duke, uh, former Governor Mimiko, these people in this camp are not leaving the People's Democratic Party. They, are, they will stay within the party, and I promise you, these whole issues will be resolved 
it looks a little bit difficult because some people are speaking out in the media and taking very strong stance. But I tell you, we are all politicians. We don't take strong stance. We look at what will benefit the party and what will allow the party to be acceptable in certain regions and also what will make the party to win elections. So with the comments coming through from the chairman calling certain persons children, does that fit into what you just described? Well, there have been there have been banters going from the national chairman to to to, to the governor Wiki himself to Governor Otton. There have been banters left, right, and centre because uh, emotions are, are, are flaring up. But I tell you this: at the end of the day, they will still hug and kiss and make up. It's All right. Just uh, it's just a process. Well, so there you go. Uh, you just, uh, if our understanding is right. We shouldn't hold our breath for politicians. They know how to sort themselves out behind the scenes. Well, thank you very much indeed, Dadakole Ijogi, for your time this morning. Thank you for having me. All right. Well, back in a moment, everyone. Stay with us.